Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ben with Rough Country. Today, we're gonna to go through the rebuild procedure for our X-Flex joints. There's a few tools you're gonna to need. You'll need the snap ring pliers. You're also gonna need a 3 8 inch wrench as well as a 3 30 seconds Allen wrench for this little stop here on the X-Flex joint to keep the spanner from spinning. Now let's take a look at the procedure for rebuilding this joint. Okay guys, I like to start on the snap ring side of the joint housing. First, I press that bushing in past the snap ring groove, install the washer, then using our snap ring pliers, we're going to compress the snap ring and install it into the X-Flex joint housing. Now, once that snap ring pops into place, we'll take a second and make sure the washer and the bushing are secured against the snap ring. Now, once we're pressed firmly against the snap ring, we'll flip the joint housing over, we'll install our spherical ball, and we're going to install the other side of our bushing, making sure that it sits flush within the joint housing. Once that bushing is pressed in, we can install our spanner. Now we'll tighten it down by hand as much as we can. Then we'll grab our spanner wrench, which is included in our X-Series kits. If you don't have yours anymore or misplaced it or lost it, we do have them available separately. Now you see those semi-circle cut holes? Make sure when you're tightening that down, you align that with your set screw location because that's where your set screw comes through the housing and keeps the spanner from turning under pressure. We'll start the set screw by hand, tighten it down with your 3 30 seconds Allen wrench, and all we have left next to do is install our grease fitting. Now the grease fitting uses a 3 8 inch wrench to secure down, but we're just gonna tighten this one by hand. So with our grease fitting installed, set screw, new bushings and washers, we have a rebuilt X-Flex joint. I'm Ben for Rough Country, and we'll see you later.